It's the roll up. It's the vibes. It's the biggest. It's Logo Talk. Like, subscribe. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, man. Show us love, man. We trying to climb these algorithms. You know, get the roll up where it need to be to the top. Um, it's DJ Lagway Day. Y'all already know what time it is. Billy ain't with the, you know, the games. You know, he's pulling out big five when it pertains to the quarterback position. So he ran down and did what he had to do to my man Lincoln Riley. Um, I know USC got their hopes up. They thought they was getting them a signal caller. Uh, but Billy had other plans, man. Um, DJ Ladway, 6'3", 225-pound uh, quarterback out of Texas. Um, big guy. In, in my opinion, uh, if I had to do a comparison, I'll compare him with Justin Fields. I think there's a lot of similarities. Um, big guy, pocket passer, uh, great pocket presence. Uh, scans the field, but if you get outside the pocket, you know, he got the feet to get away from you or he can run you over. Big guy, tough guy to bring down. Uh, has a lot of ant anticipation in his throws. I like what I see out of that. Um, could work on some accuracy, but overall, you're talking about a five-star quarterback, you know. Back-to-back um, -back cycles getting elite elite arms. That's how you win in the SEC. I know some fan bases want to act like, oh, none of this matters, or it's just recruiting, or we just beat you guys. I, I said that about Georgia, too, when they was collecting up five stars and elite football players. I act like, yo, we could just make this happen in the portal and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll beat those guys. Nope, you got to recruit elite on the high school level. You got to get elite quarterbacks on campus. Um, I said all that to say, listen, Georgia got Stetson uh, and going to Natties, right? But still the same principle. You got to get elite arms. We getting elite arms on campus. Uh, like I said, he beat out. Two guys with a hell of a reputation with Jimbo Fisher and Lincoln Riley. Uh, guys that have first-round draft picks, Heisman winners. You know, Billy don't have the reputation on on, on the fan level and the average person level um, as Lincoln Riley and Jimbo Fisher. But behind the scenes, these guys are uh, impressive, I guess, to these recruits. And not just the recruits on the high school level, also in the transfer port portal. Um, a lot of these people that are very interested in Billy's offense and the way uh, O'Hara is developing the quarterback position. So it's just one thing I want to keep monitoring and watching. I'm loving the vibes of how they're recruiting. Um, it's starting to trickle down a little bit. Uh, when you get DJ Lagway, now that opens up the floodgates to go get the best players in the country. Um, I'm not going to get on here and name names because I know y'all will rewind this tape and have me on the Summer Jam screen when we miss. So I'm not going to say no names. But I mean, a lot of players want to come play with DJ Lagway. Um, I expect us to start getting some five-star receivers, running backs, and a lot of other positions, offensive linemen. It's like getting Tebow or somebody like that and, 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 and players wanting to come play with him. Same vibes, man. Uh, this I think this takes our 2024 class up to number two in the composites, you know, which is a good start. Last year, the Billy's first cycle, it took us forever to get our signal caller. When we did get one, we weren't excited about Marcus Stokes. Uh, we wanted, we thought that you know, uh, we needed a higher level of talent at the quarterback position to to make some headway and close the gap to Georgia. Um, but this year, we off to a fast start. If you got that guy in December, and now he can start recruiting to, for you on the on seven hundred seven market and everywhere else. He's going to be traveling as far as you know, off season shenanigans. Super excited about the twenty four class. A uh, lot to look out for. You know, we're gonna keep this thing rolling. Uh, Billy is with all the games. Shout out to Hugh Hefner for bringing the Rari out, the Lambo. You know, people thought we thought the money was out or something. I don't know. You know, shout out to to Eddie and the collective, everybody that's involved uh, with recruiting, the staff for doing their thing. It just you gotta love the quarterback position. I'm gonna get my flowers when it's time to get flowers. Right now, the staff knocking it out of the ballpark. The collective, everybody around our NIL department is knocking it out of the ballpark. It's vibes around here in Gainesville. We're going to see if we can get some pancakes to eat for breakfast. I don't know. We'll see. Um, shout out to Jordan Hall. He had a great time, great visit last weekend in, in the swamp. Um, you don't know. We got some things to close on. We'll see where we at with it. But right now, you know, it's beautiful in the Ville.